A new affordable home security system, Aereo gets its day in court, and a pacemaker that lasts forever. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Geek. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lynda.com. A brand new project launched today on Indiegogo called Corner. It's a unique affordable security system you can put in your home or even take along with you as you travel. It's super simple to set up because there's literally just a tag, a tiny little triangular sensor that mounts on a window or door, and a fob that plugs into an ethernet port on your router. The tags wait for motion and then alert the fob wirelessly using the Zigbee protocol when they detect it. They've got an impressive three year battery life running off one of those little CR2032 watch batteries. And when motion is detected, one of several things can happen. The system will alert your iOS or Android device. It'll set off an alarm located in the fob and it'll allow you to either call the police or notify a group of friends or family so you can have someone check on things. Two things I particularly like about this project. First, the actual sensors are single piece units. They don't require you to nail a magnet to the window or door frame. They just stick in the corner and that's it. Secondly, the price is definitely compelling. During the campaign, you can get a three pack of sensors plus a fob for 99 bucks with no ongoing fees ever, but only if you get in early. You can even get a large home pack that includes nine sensors, one fob, and a repeater since the wireless range without it is only about 100 feet, which is still a pretty good range. You can get to the project with today's show notes at geekbeat.tv forward slash 832 or our write up at geekbeat.tv forward slash corner with a K. You may have heard us talking about Aereo, the company with banks of dime sized antennas that grab over the air broadcast and DVR them so subscribers can stream shows over the internet. Now, Aereo says each subscriber has their own antenna and DVR space, but the broadcast industry says that Aereo is infringing on copyrighted material by rebroadcasting their signals. Well, today, Aereo and the broadcast TV industry have their hearing before the US Supreme Court, and the debate is gonna go something like this. Broadcasters will be like, Aereo isn't playing fair. And Aereo will be all like, broadcasters are a bunch of dummies. And broadcasters will be like, no, we aren't. You're a bunch of fatheads. And Aereo is like, no, -uh, you're a fathead. You're a miserable pit squeak of a man. Anyway, Aereo is going to win because at the end of the day, they are merely renting infrastructure to the viewing public. There isn't a law that says I can't rent a DVR in your data center. I mean, if a rented Time Warner DVR in my living room is legal, why not one in your living room that I remotely access? The end. Speaking of remotely accessed pre-recorded content, you should head over to lynda.com forward slash geekbeat and load up on a week's worth of totally free videos. You can learn all sorts of stuff that'll help you stick it to the broadcasters, like how to do video editing, how to engineer stuff, and probably how to build your own pri pirate TV channel. <laughs> Well, you can definitely learn Photoshop, AutoCAD, audio editing, business marketing, and much more. That's lynda.com forward slash geekbeat for your free seven day trial. According to the scientist, I, I'm talking about like a magazine. I'm not talking about a guy that I call the scientist. It's not like a mob guy. <laughs> it's not like the guy called the scientist. Anyway, John Rogers, a professor of material science and engineering at the University of Illinois and Ur at Urbana Champagne. -a. Champagne. -a. You remember that skit from Saturday Night Live with uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, that guy. And he was like, please lay, I mean, sit down. Champagne. <laughs> Enjoy. Anyway, some of you know what I'm talking about and you're laughing right now. Some of you are just looking at me like, it's like nice champagne, but some of it's Sprite. Sure, here we go. And his colleagues, 
that was John, the guy, John the scientist is talking about the guy named John and his colleagues. They've constructed a flexible <laughs> energy harvesting device that can convert the movement of body parts like the heart and lungs into energy captured by a battery that could be used to power implantable devices like pacemakers. That's right, this is a story about pacemakers. Ignore everything before right now. The new pacemakers can generate 1.2 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Oh, sorry, that's only about 1.2 microwatts of electricity, which also happens to be just what the doctor ordered to keep the heart pumping. Normal heart pacemaker batteries tend to run out of juice every few years, but these batteries don't seem to have any expiration on them, meaning once it's installed, the patient won't need dangerous heart surgeries performed every five to seven years to keep them alive. Okay, that's it for today's show. I'm pretty sure Dave's glad about that. Yeah. If, if you haven't already done so, head on over to the new Geek Beat forums at geekbeat.tv forward slash forums and join up. We're almost at a thousand members on the site with all kinds of awesome conversations taking place. And of course, there are over 31,000 members on the Google Plus Geeks community at geekbeat.tv forward slash geeks. Hey, if you know any good jokes, tweet them at me because... I'm bored, and Callie's gonna make me go exercise now. What, do you think I'm boring or something?